I get older, care is about still living and having a bright future. Uh, I felt that that was missing a little bit in the sector, so that's why I decided that I'd like to work in elderly care. I think that what makes a successful home is that a whole team works together and we've all got one aim and that is that everybody is involved in a community lifestyle within the home but also bringing the community at large into the home so that people can continue to live the lives as they always did. We encourage the residents to maintain their contacts with the community. That's with actually within the Avery service but also beyond into the local community as well and to maintain friendships. For many of our family and friends, visiting the home is not always something that they can do. It may be they live um, a distance from the home, um, it may be they just lead busy lives, but social platforms enable people to engage with the home, to feel part of the home and actually to physically contribute in, in, in conversation. And it's also important that at Avery we support new friendships and enable residents to engage in new experiences as well as the familiar regular routines. We will have a minibus so there'll be excursions out locally, maybe even weekends away if people wish to do that. Uh, we'll use a, a lot of um, community attachment, trips to the local places of interest, um, to the local pubs, the theatre, um, to the canals. We we'll also do mystery tours of the local countryside which is all quite beautiful. When it's nice we can go out of the garden and dig a few plants or something or if not we can all get in the van and go for a mystery tour, you know, around Moulton. And then uh, we go, like yesterday we went out and there was about eight of us and we went to Sunnyside and we had lunch. Crispin Court Care Home will be a three-storey building with um, private dining, all ensuite bedrooms, we've got two cafe bars, one was a piano lounge, quiet areas for the library, we've got activity rooms, a cinema and also for the ladies and gents for relaxation there's the salon and therapy room. The environment is extremely important, we work very very closely with our internal interior team looking at the fabrics, the textures, the wall coverings and everything that would be suitable for the residents that come into the home. So in particular in our memory care unit we have things like the coffee shops, we have coffee shops as you come into the entrances of the home so that we can create a really vibrant atmosphere and really somewhere where the families can still have social interactive interaction in a space that's suitable for both them and the residents and obviously younger family members as well. The staff at Crispin Court will be uh, using a person-centred care approach which will help people to be able to settle. We will meet the person before admission and encourage visits to the home regularly if they need that because everybody's always concerned about settling. It's about spending time with people, getting to know them and helping them to settle by making each day theirs. The aims of the wellbeing model are essentially to maximise individual wellbeing. And this is done by looking at the strengths of the individual resident and ensuring that they have, um, they're supported to have the skills and abilities to in engage in a number of activities that have meaning to them. It's not only a very professional care home with incredibly high caliber staff, but she's, it's a loving home. And I have a huge peace of mind knowing that she's here. And you know, when your elderly parent needs a care home, it's one of the more stressful things you'll ever go through. So I found that not only were they incredibly supportive of my mother at that awful time, but they were also incredibly supportive of me. My mum responds to them. They, they've learned, even though she's got very advanced Alzheimer's actually, they, they know every single way in which she subtly, or perhaps sometimes not very subtly, communicates. And they respond to that. And, you know, she kisses them a lot. She kisses me a lot, but that tells you an awful lot about how much she loves them and how much they love her back. 
the dining experience is a good social activity and it's a highlight for the day for some people. We at Avery take a huge pride in providing the right environment, the right standard of care uh, and the right level of hotel services for residents so we want to keep this at the forefront of the group. The menus will develop around what the residents like by meeting with the residents on a regular basis. We offer sherry before meals and wine with the meal. The culinary concept at Avery is to have a thoughtful approach uh, by being thoughtful with our menus and ensuring they're well balanced, healthy, uh, appetising, nourishing, uh, we can then contribute to a, a person's well-being and lifestyle and that's just been by thoughtful about the ingredients that we are putting in our dishes and how we are actually developing our menus. We utilise local suppliers to use fresh quality produce. Uh, we have daily deliveries so our ingredients are as fresh as possible. We also incorporate seasons we actually embrace the seasons and this we hope delivers um, a quality meal uh, consistently. We came in here and we found this as being one off. You could not find a place with such amenities and helpfulness and happiness. It's about looking to the future and everything that we do is around the people that we care for, giving them the best service. So the environment may look like a five-star hotel and the service side is managed like a five-star hotel, but the carers are there to care and to think about people's future.